this is Chris. And I'm Christy. And this is the Chris and Christy channel. Um, today we're going to do an ammo score. Uh, we got some, am some ammo. Mm -hmm. Lots of it. Uh, four boxes of 45 auto. And three ball. boxes of, thir of, th of 38. So in the box. And here's the four boxes. Got four boxes of 45. Very cheap at Bass Pro Herders. Two boxes. Third box. Fourth box. So, you can see four boxes of 45, which is really heavy, by the way. Yeah. And, yeah, next right. up, is Federal. Federal American Eagle 38 Special. Yeah. Three whole boxes. Yep. As you can see. And. Those aren't as heavy. Yeah. They're not as heavy as the 45. Um, 45's got 230 grain. Versus the 158 grain. Of the. American Eagle. 38 Special. Now. I got those both. At back. At Bass Pro Shop, um, they only allow you uh, five boxes of 50, so I got lucky. And it helps if you have your wife with you. But, yeah. I saw this online, Federal 38 Special, and I, crap you not, I'm going to show it to you. These things are selling in the stores, twenty-five bucks a box, okay, for fifty. Now, do you know how much some places are char are char are charging for one box of ammo for that same box? I'll show you. You ain't gonna believe it, people. I took a screenshot of it. Whenever my phone loads up completely, I'll show it to you. But, I'll show it to you, but they're selling a 50 round box of 38 Special. 124 bucks. For one box of 50. And you can quite literally get, get these for 25 bucks a box at Bass Pro. If you can find them in. All it takes is calling. You might have to call every day and ask if they got some in or if they have it in. But if you call and you talk to them and you get get to know them, they'll start te like, te like telling you when they're getting ammo shipments in. If you call up there enough, they'll start telling you when they get them in. Well, that's the problem. I mean, most people don't have a Bass Pro near us like we do. Yeah, and I'll, I'll show you this. I, I mean, I can't believe people are literally selling ammo for that kind of money. Okay, wait until it focuses. I can't okay, see. there you go. go. $124 for a box of 50. For 38. And these, 45. I saw these for sale for like 50 bucks a box. And you can get these for about the same, about twenty, about twenty bucks for fifty. So, why are they price gouging people like that? I mean, it it, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like I said, there it is. Herders forty five. If you can see it, they're selling it for close to fifty bucks a box, with uh with shipping in it. In, and everything for one box, close to 60. So, I mean, huge ammo score. Great one. Um, don't lose hope. You can find it out there. Like I said, you know, take a look at it. It's like gold now. But, 45 autos. Those yep. are thick. I mean, yeah, I think they're 
They're just about the same size as the 38. It's kind of, I don't know. Ah, go a little bit. Millimeters. Here, let me put it back in the box. They don't spill it. My glasses are foggy. But yeah, I mean, I can't believe... I can't believe it. I mean, I can't believe how much people are really charging we got this at, for ammo. at um Bass Pro when it says Cabela's. Well, Cabela's and ba Bass Pro are both owned by each other. Oh, I was wondering why it was saying Cabela's. Yeah, they all they're owned by each other. I, I know we didn't get go to Cabela's. But yeah, 45 lot auto, 45 8 ACP, same thing. But. Yeah, that was a big ammo score. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, that's 50, 150, 250, 350. That's 350 bullets right there. And. How much they're char charging people right now is outrageous. I mean, it's awful. Um, I did get a, another ammo score, which I'm going to do that on a different video, but I was able to score 500 rounds of 9mm, which is even more difficult to find. Actually, I think this is the most difficult one to find, 38. I've only got like one gun that shoots 38 but I wanted to have plenty of it on hand. I only had like originally, I only had like a hundred rounds. So now I've got like 250 rounds of it, which I can only shoot five at a time. So, yep. you know, that's plenty f f for me for, thir for, th uh, for 38. Yeah, the best ammo score is getting it cheap and yeah. trying to get on sale. I think the most, I, I have as far as hand, handgun ammo is 9mm because I've got like I've got like five guns that shoot nine so maybe six five or six pistols that shoot nine I've got one that shoots 45 and I've got like maybe five six hundred rounds of 45 and 9mm, I probably got like 2,000 rounds. And um, 5.56, five, I probably got about three or 4,000 rounds. Uh, 22, my gosh. I don't even want to start there. I probably got like at least 10, 20,000. At least. But that's a good ammo score. I mean the fact that I've seen some some uh some places on YouTube where they're only allowing people to get one box per caliber per day with a three box max. They can only get three boxes. Not to change the subject, but I'm really happy that we finally got monetized. We're finally yeah. getting ads. We're finally getting ads. We're probably starting to notice the ads now. And that's a good approved. thing because we got monetized and it's approved. And that's something we worked hard yeah. for because this is something we're passionate about. We like doing. Sorry yeah. we haven't done a video in about five or six days, but I've been really busy and I've, I've been healing. And Yeah. And he's going to go back to the um, dentist to yeah. get more teeth pulled. I'm getting another section So we're going to be stocking pulled. up on videos. and just Yeah. So we're going to be posting videos. This is a live video you. today. We're doing this like right now and tonight. Yeah. But in the next few days, he's going to go back to the dentist and get more we're going to have to stock up on videos. And so ultimately... By this summer, you guys should be able to see, to see me smile. 
And I'll have, you know, permanent dentures fixed in, bolted into my head like freaking Robocop. And I'll be able to smile and be happy and not have to worry about going to a dentist ever. Because, let me put it this way, I, I'll, I'll tell you people, if you have to get teeth pulled and you have infection, they can give you all those dang lidocaine shots that they want. But you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. That's why it's important to take antibiotics. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just saying, like, make sure you get antibiotics before you get teeth pulled. If, if, you've, if they suspect you have infection... Yeah, well, get, get antibiotics. I've been making him take his antibiotics, so he's okay. So, I have to do, let's see, how many more times do I have to go? I go Monday, all these will be gone. Uh, and then two weeks from that, all those back ones will be gone. And then two weeks after that, the last ones will be gone. So, yeah, and I know in someone... about... And I know someone's going to say, just get them all out at Two. once. I, we tried. We tried to you yeah, know, and you can't find afford a good it. way to like knock them out and just get them all out at once. It's cheaper to get the not, shots it was just and get not them pulled possible. than it is to get put to sleep and get all of them out and get sewn up. It's like a huge difference in cost. If you have to get put under and get all of your teeth pulled out, depending on how many teeth... I think I have like six, 16 total I needed pulled to have them all out. It would cost close to eight grand. O over $7,800. Close to $8,000. But if it was my own personal conscious decision, I would be like, put my butt out, give me anesthesia, and get all my teeth out. That would, that would probably yeah, be me. Yeah, that would be the Because I'm not scared of being put under, but... Well, it's not a question of being scared of getting put under. It's the fact yeah. of, you know, it's well, what we can afford. Um, you know, close to $8,000 versus a little over two, two, 2500 Huge difference. Yeah. And plus you have to pay to get the dentures but, fixed But um, he's going to be okay. There's nothing to really be concerned. He's just going to be healing and stuff. And we're just going to stockpile videos and just upload... Make sure you guys have some entertainment. Yeah. And like I said, I'll make an another one on the ammo score I did with nine nine millimeter. It's the same. I'll give you a hint. It's the same brand as this, but I got five hundred rounds of it. Yeah. So, I mean, I heard it's a good brand. I've never really shot it before, so I guess we'll see. Yeah. But. I hope you guys enjoy but, this. But by the si size of those bullets, they're just going to knock me into space, probably, because I'm so... Yeah, it's so like, if you really wide. think about it, 45 ACP, it's got 230 grains of black powder in it. Okay? A 9 millimeter, if you just get a, nor a normal 9 millimeter that's not plus P, is 115 grains. So quite literally, a nine millimeter has got half the gun the gunpowder that one of these rounds have. So when a forty five is going down barrel at at someone, it's coming at you with the power of two nine millimeters at once. Yeah. So it's going to knock somebody down. Yeah. For a forty five is a a hard hitting round. I don't know why the U.S. Army switched from forty five to nine. Because they used to carry, you know, eight round, forty five, nineteen elevens, and that, and, and those would put somebody down. So now, I mean, yeah, they 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 carry more, but it's going to take two to three nine millimeters to put a grown a, a grown man down, depending on where you hit them at. I mean, their theory is, uh, at least what they teach, you know, commandos and rangers, seals. Is two in the heart, one in the head. You know, if you put two two in the chest, one in the head, they're gonna go down. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna end this video tonight, right now. Um, anything else you'd want to add? 
Uh, that's about it. Um, happy ammo hunting to, er to, er to everybody out there. Let us know if you get lucky and you find anything. Yeah, and please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Definitely. And also, you know, if you guys have women out there who, you know, your wives, girlfriends, yeah. anything like that, that like jewelry. My wife's si uh, sister is uh, selling jewelry and stuff. And stuff like that. Yeah, What's she's it called? selling paparazzi jewelry. Um, her name is Brandy Baker, and like she's on Facebook and stuff. Um, she's doing, we'll leave a link to her. Um, yeah, she's doing um, jewelry like with her daughter and stuff. I think think her and her daughter, me, her and my niece are just doing paparazzi together as so a team. So if you want to help somebody with a little side hustle that's got kids and, you know, yeah. try, just trying to make it. Or just trying to watch her. Yeah. You don't even have to buy anything. Just watch her. Yeah, I mean, you might see see something you like for your wife or friend. Yeah. Whoever, you know. Mom, aunt. Anything. But we'll leave a little link down below um, in case you want to check, uh, check her out. Yeah. But, bye. Hope you enjoy. God bless y'all. God bless America.